I'm up to fourth, eight points clear of seventh place. That feels like a massive win. It's a huge win, and I said that on Tuesday night. If we could manage to nick another win on the side, that puts us in a great position. Big gap between us and the ones chasing, but there's a long way to go. There's still another 33 points to play for. So I'm just chuffed a bit with the lads at the minute. They've took on board everything after the Darlington game, and I think the fans have seen today that we're putting a real workmanlike performance. It wasn't pretty. Though any shadow of a doubt, I think you could see some of the play was poor on a difficult pitch, but. We dug in, road will look a little bit. I think got a penalty, deserved penalty, and deal pulled away. And we took the foot off the gas a little bit, which was a little bit surprising. I was trying to get them going, and the fair play to Bradford, they've got some good players in there. And I thought Lids done exceptionally well against their left winger, who was causing them problems. But then we get the second one, and I think that, yeah, that settled it down a little bit. But first half, 50 minutes was good, half an hour I thought we got back at it in all honesty and GMO made a great save and then ending off not not really relaxing on the ball, we kept giving them the ball back far too cheaply but again that's a few weeks ago we would have lost that game, we would have probably packed in because we were making mistakes and giving the ball away and that's what I said to the lads today, what I loved about it was that desire and that real work ethic did not concede a goal, I think everyone could see that, they're putting the bodies on the line and trying to keep another clean sheet for GMO, which you fully deserved. Does it feel like sort of a weird game, so we're in 2-0 at half-time, do you feel a bit fortunate to have a two-goal lead? Massively, I said that to the lads at half-time, and it was never a 3-0 never a game again, but once we got the second one, which was a bit of quality from Robbie there, and he slides it lovely back for Jared and puts it in, I, I, I could see the lads ease off a little bit and the pressure was relaxed a little bit. But then the second half, I knew them would have a go, and then they brought more front men on and start lumping balls into the box, long throws again, and that left gaps. And the only disappointing thing for me was I, I didn't think we we done enough to create more opportunities when them were doing that, when them were over committing. I thought we could have been a bit more composed with it when we got it, it was coming back too quick. And when we were composed, you've seen we got the third goal from it, and that was the game done really. But. It could have probably ended up four or five, in all honesty, if it was a bit more composure. But in that, it was never ever that kind of game. It was a really tough game, a close game. So people probably think, oh, comfortable three 0 it, it was never a comfortable game. It was really tough. The lads had to work hard for it, and that's that's what I really liked about it. And you touched upon Peter James and how, how excellent has he been this week. So obviously, he saved the three points on uh, on Tuesday, and then the day he's made a great save there and went up and scored a third. Different class, isn't that? Them moments change games. I think you've seen that. I think the Brackley game last week, where he saved that one from his legs, and then we come out and we counted and we scored three. Them are the kind of things that you, you need, and he's, he's been different class. And I think this last week, I've seen a big difference in his confidence. He looks full of himself. He's, he looks brave. He's talking to the lads. So I say that at the minute, the lads are riding high, but we we can't take the foot off the gas for a minute. We've got to make sure that we concentrate on. So we've got a tough game next week away at Leamington. Buds is going to be away, which is a shame because that shape's been working at the minute. So we're going to have to replace him. Joe will probably play left side centre back to get him straight into it. But again, the lads know what's required now to win games, and that's what they do. And it was not a final win. Should we be getting yet yeah, to use of these final wins every other week? No, I, I could get used to them quite easy. But <laughs> uh, I, I never, that, as I say, that was never a three 0 game, and Tuesday night was never a three 0 game. But you, you take your chances and goals win games, and today we've done that. And I think we did deserve to win the game overall, but I think it was never a three 0 and Joe Gorman made his uh, debut today. Can just touch up, uh, talk about why, why he's been brought in? Yeah, Joe, Joe got in touch. His agent and I got in touch a few weeks back and sent us clips of him. I had a look at him because I knew this was coming with Nathan Buddle being away for the Leamington game and David Atkinson's been out ill for the last two weeks, so I had to move quite quickly on it. And the clips look well, so I invite him up for training, and he, he's settled in really well. He's a confident lad. He talks, he's athletic, he can deal with the football. And the big bonus is he's left-sided centre-back, which we're missing with Jordan Watson not being here. So it was nice to get him on the pitch today, uh, get a feel for it, and hopefully he'll give it some competition. And next week, as I say, he'll probably have to start because Buddle's away, so it's straight in for him. And <laughs> But he looks a confident lad. I think he'll do OK. And as I say, we've got him until the end of the season, then we'll take it from there.